A bus driver sees a boy on the street all alone. What he does next changes his life forever. Mike was a little boy living in the hilly region. It snowed a lot there. He was sensitive, and therefore, he would catch a cold easily. His mom would always cover him up in warm clothes. Then only he was allowed to step out of his house. One morning, he was found on the road by a bus driver. His eyes were watery, and his face was red. The bus driver decided to help him. Mr. Holland was a simple man. He was a veteran. He served the nation for a long time. After retirement, he didn't want to sit at home. So, he talked to his wife about working at that age. She was concerned about him. But she also knew that he was hard rock. So, Mr. Holland started his new job with pride. His daily job was to pick up kids from school and drop them home and vice versa. Yes, you guessed it right. He was a bus driver. He was going about his day when he found a kid crying on the street. He stopped the bus and asked him what the issue was. The kid kept crying and didn't respond. Mr. Holland got out of the bus and carried the boy inside. He was shivering. Mr. Holland didn't know the reason behind his tears, but he knew for a fact that the boy was cold. So, he removed his gloves and hat. He handed it over to the boy and made him sit with the kids. He started driving because he didn't want the kids to be late for school. He saw that Mike had stopped crying. He wasn't sure about the reason behind his tears, but Mike's reaction to warmth gave him a hint. The driver thought that he was just cold and nothing else. He told the staff to keep the boy in the library. It was warm and perfect for the boy. He was not done yet. There was more to it. Then, he went to an old store which sold warm clothes. He got 15 hats and pairs of gloves. Why did he buy so many? Would he give these things to Mike? He wouldn't need so many. But what the driver did was remarkable. He called all the kids from his bus route to the library. He gave the first pair of gloves and a hat to Mike. Then, he told the kids to take whatever they don't have. On hearing this, a little girl approached him. She told him that she had never worn a beanie. She always wanted one, but her sister would take it away from her. So, Mr. Holland kissed her forehead and gave her a beanie. He told her that no one would take that away from her. He was there for her. Everyone saw the wonderful gesture of the driver. The kids ran towards the hats and gloves and took one each. They loved the gift and gave him a group hug. The staff told the school committee about this. They loved his generous act and decided to make it go viral. So, one of them posted on social media stating that the school's driver had done an incredible thing. They even posted Mr. Holland's photo in that article. They gave him all the appreciation he deserved. Everyone loved Mr. Holland for his behavior. The post went viral in no time. It was trending on social media. Mr. Holland had no idea about this. He didn't do anything for fame or appreciation. He just wanted to help the kids. He was happy that his story inspired people but didn't know how to reply to people. He was a quiet man. On the other hand, his wife was happy about what the school had done and told her husband not to worry. She replied to the comments on the post. She even added how happy and proud she was of her husband. Most of the comments were positive. But there were some who cast their negativity even on such a beautiful story. Some blamed the boy's parents for not giving him warm clothes and sending him off. To which Mrs. Holland replied that there was no point in judging anyone. There might be several reasons why the boy was found like that. It was later discovered that Mike's parents weren't home that day. But none of that mattered. The boy was safe. And so were the other kids.